And <clears throat> that's my logo. I've been voted the outstanding agent in Omaha twice. As I said in my prelude to this, the market has been very good. There is more buyer activity than, than we've seen in a long, long time. This is not a low inventory market. It's a high demand market. And, but the question is not what we're going to review today. And that's what's happened in the past last month. But the real question is, what's going to happen to the market in the future with the recent raise in interest rates by the Fed and how that affects marketability and not market well affects marketability, but it affects affordability for buyers. And that's how much house they can afford to buy. But stay tuned because next month we will be reviewing how the interest situation is affecting the present market. So let's begin with the Omaha area housing market report. Uh, after two years of record setting activity, there are signs that the housing market may be cooling. High home prices and a surge in mortgage interest rates are slowing buyer activity with home sales declining for the third consecutive month under the weight of soaring home ownership costs. But we are still in a market of higher demand than supply. Affordability challenges are limiting buyer activity and early signs suggest competition for homes may be cooling somewhat. But inventory remains low with only a two month supply at present and home prices continue to rise. Homes are still selling quickly and multiple offers are common. So inflation is definitely here. Median close price increased to 259,000 for existing homes, up almost 13% from a year ago. And new construction median close price increased to $420,000, up almost 18% from a year ago. And that has to do with supply chain issues, price of lumber, price of materials, labor costs, and so forth. So the conclusion, this is not a low inventory market. It is a high demand market. And we are listing as many homes or more as we ever did. But because of strong buyer demand, homes are selling more quickly and for higher prices. Homes are on the market for an average of eight days and are selling at a little over 103% of the listing price. Let's take a look at what's happened. Last year, we listed more homes than we ever have. So it's just the excessive buyer demand driven by the millennials uh, that are entering the market. Days on the market in 2021, it was only nine days. So as demand has increased, time on the market has decreased. Days on the market is now only 42% of what it was just four years ago. Is it a low inventory market? Here's what homes sold for last year as a percentage of listing price for existing homes, 101.5%. But now this year, it's over 103%. So as demand has increased and days on the market has decreased, Bidding and multiple offers have driven the list, list price received up. So the bottom line, it is not a low inventory housing market. It is a high demand housing market. If you would like to talk about how this affects you in your desire to buy a home or sell a home or just what's going on in the marketplace, I encourage you to go to my website at markrenner.com and browse. I have many special reports you may be interested in, and there's some videos on what the market is doing. Uh, but if you just want to chat, give me a call at 402-690-1687. My contact information has been streaming below, or give me an email. I'm Mark at 
www.thepowerofpowerpodcast.com. I thank you for watching today. Have a great day and be safe.